in the car. I see this huge animal beast climb over the fence. I scream, bear, bear! National Park. We just drove six hours. We left at about 5.30 this morning and we see the mountain range in front of us. So, so excited like a kid going to Disneyland. He's coming up to snow plow up here and he just told us there are lots of bears up here so to keep our bears very handy and I've got this little whistle here and uh, we're heading up the road let me show you there's Merck we're gonna get around this corner and hopefully you see some great views and Susan and they are from Tennessee so we're just road walking right now because this road's closed but we've uh, heard that there are lots of bears with their cubs up further so we're just a little nervous so they're hanging with us because we got some bear spray and, and uh, we're just enjoying the view as you saw we just saw this amazing view I think that was called Goose Island the little island out in the middle of the lake. Was that called Goose Island? Goose Island. Yeah, Goose Island in the middle of the lake. And so, we're just cruising along, see if we can find some nice views. Yeah. Saw a bald eagle. Too bad I didn't get him on film. Look at this, you guys. Oh my gosh, I haven't even stopped to look this way. guys from Mini Glacier. We are here shooting this morning. We've been here since before the sun came up. We got some beautiful moon shots. We're getting very, very, very early morning light here. 
So I'm going to get back to shooting, but I just kind of wanted to show you guys the scene right now. We were up at uh, 5 a.m. Merck's right over here. Wave hi, Merck. Hi, everybody. <laughs> it's dark out and it's a little chilly. I couldn't find my gloves this morning, but I can't stop shooting. Yeah, I've got my uh, bear spray here. I don't know if you can see it. And my bear bell. So anyways, getting back to shooting. everybody we are sitting here at mini glacier we got here bright and early this morning as i mentioned and we've been taking some amazing photos it's freezing out so i am sitting in the car uh, warming up while we're waiting for that alpine glow to kind of come over uh shine on these peaks that's what i'm trying to say here we are on the eastern side of the glacier national park and Pretty much everything closed down about two weeks ago. The town outside of the um, eastern portion of the park here is about, it's probably the smallest town I've ever seen. There's there's one little, tiny little market. I'll try to get it on film later. Some of the roads are closed. We wanted to go up to Logan Pass, and unfortunately the pass is closed. Probably about 10 miles up. It's a 17 mile trip up to the pass. So we can't get all the way up there. They may open it. They did open a larger portion yesterday. So we were able to get in the car. We hiked in probably a few miles, it felt like. And then all of a sudden they opened the road. So the ranger gave myself and Susan a ride back down to our cars. We went back up, picked up the guys, picked up Merck, and uh, we were able to drive up a little further. There wasn't really any type of a view to take photos from, so I didn't shoot or film up there. So we just came back down. So that's really those two roads, that road uh, near St. Mary's Lake, and here at Mini Glacier, that's really all that's open. There are, There is a hike that we are going to try to do, and we might do a couple of hikes. So we'll see how that goes. So, I am having a great time. I'm happy to be here. It's stunning. The fall colors are going off here. It's just absolutely beautiful. So I would love to come back and experience it in the backcountry way. I'm definitely sketched out about the bears. We've been hearing a lot about the bears. It was a little spooky being out here before the sun came up. And I'm a little spooked about going on the hike as well, but I do have bear spray at Bell and everything else. So I am just going to try to face my fears and get out there. If I ever plan on coming out to backpacking, backpack in this area, then I need to get used to it. So anyway, I'm going to quit blabbering. Just thought it was a good time to check in with you guys because I'm kind of just sitting here. So <sighs> check it in a bit. Here's a general store I was telling you about. It's actually not a market, it's a general store. And there's one motel, one cafe closed, gas station closed. It's a pretty small town. Persistence pays off. Uh, the road to the sun is open all the way to Logan's Pass. Merck just asked me to check randomly online when we went to a small town nearby for uh, lunch. And I got on and it's, I saw their Twitter post that, that they had opened the road. So we probably would have driven right by had I not done that. So thank you, Merck, for asking me to check. And we get to come up here and I didn't know what I was going to be missing without having seen it. But... Now I see what I would have missed, and oh my god, it's breathtaking. I'm so glad we get to come up here.
super stoked. We made it up to Road to the Sun. I got to do some hiking up here in the snow. It's absolutely beautiful. And this, this is a highlight of Glacier National Park for me at this point. And we still have another entire day. But just making it up here, getting a backpack on, hiking up the hill in the snow, makes me a happy girl. Great trail here. Just happy to be here. Very grateful, very blessed. And thank you for, to Merg for everything he's done to make this trip possible. And the other thing I want to mention is coming here this time of year does have its downfalls because nothing's open, you know. Th those are the uh, cons, but the pros are that it is very peaceful. There's nobody on this trail. We've passed maybe two other or four people probably on this trail going up and down. And we were just told by one of the couples up on top of the hill that this boardwalk is just packed in the summer. So we kind of have it to ourselves, which is awesome. So that is amazing. And that is the plus of coming during the off season. Friday morning, Friday the 6th, I believe, of October. And Merck and I are just sitting here waiting for the morning light to hit these mountains or this uh, canyon here in Glacier National Park. I want to try to get a shot that does not have so much smoke and just some better lighting than what I got yesterday. There is still smoke though. It's very windy today. Down below it's incredibly windy winds up to 50 miles per hour up here up higher it's not so bad we just keep feeling the gust here and there the moon set was incredibly beautiful on the drive up here and as i was saying to Merck, those are the things that you miss if you don't get up and out of bed early and get after it early so ah, very grateful that we sorry the door just flew open the wind's blowing ah! <laughs> we're very grateful to have gotten up early and not miss that so just waiting waiting for the light Essentially, just kicking back, chilling, got a little music going, and uh, enjoying the view. There he goes. He's going up the hill. We just had a huge rush. Merck and I are sitting by the lakeside, just kind of enjoying the last few moments here in Glacier. 
I'll be honest with you, I've been super chicken about hiking around Mini Glacier. We've been hearing all kinds of stories of grizzly sightings and along the trail and it's just been super sketched out. I don't know. So I just don't didn't feel comfortable, but I just we were hanging out beside the lake and this is literally where we were shooting yesterday morning in the dark along the shoreline. I see this huge animal beast <laughs> climb over the fence. And I scream, bear, bear. I, you know, Merck's like, get your camera. I grab my camera. He hops back over the other side and starts running on the street right towards us. Merck is trying to get his camera out on the driver's side of the, the van. And I was so worried. I'm screaming at him, which I feel bad, but I was just so worried about him. So I thought I was still filming when the bear came towards us, but... I somehow stopped the camera, so I only got that little bit of footage where he was running towards us, but he actually ran right by us. <laughs> I mean, right by us, and then literally walked over the ground that we were standing on the prior morning in the dark, shooting the moonset and the sunrise. So, just wild. I'm just, my adrenaline is going. What would you think about that, Merck? It was pretty good. I was getting yelled at. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Merck says, oh, I'm okay, I'm okay. No, there's a grizzly bear running straight for us. I don't, I'm worried about him, so sorry I yelled at you. Yeah. No, that's okay. <laughs> I just was trying to get a I just wanted you to get a shot, and I was trying to get a shot. And he was moving quick. I mean, Kat saw him first, I didn't. And then she goes, and then all of a sudden looked down the road, and he was booking right towards us. He came, there was another car in front of us. He came right up to their car. And then he came right by our car. Yeah, and, he, and Merck's standing outside of the car trying to get his gear. I'm just like, ah! I got so scared for him. So, anyways, wow. Woo! Adrenaline rush. But, it just... And we were, and we were complaining. Yeah, we, we were just like... We see another bear, and everybody's seeing grizzly everywhere we go. Oh, we, we just saw one down the road earlier. Or this One's feeding on a carcass here. The guy told us, you know, about a half hour ago. And then all of a sudden, here he comes right at our car. But Kat saw it first. I didn't. And I literally had just said about two minutes before, I'm like, okay, we can go now. And then all yeah. of a sudden, there's the grizzly. So, so glad we didn't miss him. All right, well, we're going to keep looking for him. That's what we're doing right now. We're just kind of circling around. But I just wanted to jump on and let you guys know what we just saw while my adrenaline's still flowing. <laughs> are right here in this black fence in front of him. This is where the grizzly bear, he jumped over this grizzly one, bear just came then by he jumped over this one, ago. then he jumped oh, back over here, bear and then just down came the road. Right through here a couple, few minutes ago. So these gentlemen here just told us that the grizzly was chasing the sheep in the parking lot where we just were, that we just filmed. Ooh, dirt's flying in the car. And he's up on this hill somewhere. They could see him, so everybody's up here looking for him. That's what we're doing now. Well, he's way up on that hill foraging, and we uh, we can see him through binoculars, but there's no way we can get him with the camera. So, but it was exciting! Woohoo! Now we just spotted a mama bear and her cubs up on the hill. <laughs> Crazy! And there's actually, I think there are five bears up there that we just saw. Oh my gosh! This is exciting to me. I love it. this video here, this uh, fun tour of Glacier National Park. This is actually the third video in a three-part series, the first one being the Grand Tetons, second one Yellowstone National Park, and now here at Glacier.
So please go ahead and check out those other videos. I think you'll really enjoy them. It's a different type of video. I, obviously, I'm not backpacking or hiking. Did a little bit of hiking uh, on some of these trips, but it's more of a travel vlog for the outdoor enthusiasts. And I think that if you like my other videos, you'll like this. And what it allowed me was an opportunity to bring additional camera gear and get some really beautiful shots. So please enjoy those. And if you like backpacking and hiking adventures, check out those other videos. Thank you all for joining me. I want to thank my friend Dan Merkel and Photography Mentor for making these this whole epic journey possible. He, uh, he's been a great mentor and friend, so thank you, Dan. And also thank you to my own frontier, Joey Cucanato, for giving me some tips on places to go. So we'll see you next time, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.